Hi there. I'm Dr. Teresa Frausto. I'm the Chief Psychiatric Officer for the Department of Behavioral Health. And I wanted to share with you today some different strategies that I use to manage stress. This has been a long, slow moving crisis and fatigue has set in and the stress is just unbelievable. I really focus on endorphins and oxytocin. Endorphins and oxytocin help relieve stress and they improve our resiliency. So what are things that help with oxytocin and endorphins? Exercise is amazing to help release endorphins that help relax your body and your brain. I love to walk every single day. So a silver lining of the pandemic is that me and my husband take walks every single day. And uh, it's just been great to de-stress with him, to talk with him, and have that time that's just special for us. The other thing uh, is the oxytocin. And what helps with oxytocin? Oxytocin is a hormone that's released in the brain. Most commonly, you'll know from when you're nursing your babies. So what do you do so you can release oxytocin? Being with your family, um, right now during the pandemic, the family that you have um, in your home, not necessarily those that are far away, but being with your family, enjoying them is very important and helps release oxytocin. It's important to have a list. So because when you're at the high level of stress, it's hard to remember what helps you relieve your stress. So I like to have like a good five things that I can do. So I talked about walking, spending time uh, with loved ones. Uh, I've been doing, well, one of the nice things about a silver lining of the pandemic has been that my two young daughters, college age daughters are home and we have spent some nice times together. We're cooking together, we're playing board games, card games, doing puzzles, things that we would have never done before and that time together also helps relieve, release oxytocin.